Hello YouTube, how are you guys? My name is Basab Omer and in today's brand new episode of my channel, I'm gonna show you something really awesome. So just keep it up. So guys, actually what I'm trying to say that there are a bunch of people out there who just can't afford Photoshop and due to that, they simply cannot showcase their talents maybe on the internet and most importantly, they cannot even make simple things like uh, thumbnails or YouTube channel art for their uh, channels due to unavailability un <laughs> due to unavailability of uh, Adobe Photoshop, which is quite I mean not cheap I guess right. So <laughs> so so this video is about an alternative uh, software or website of uh, Adobe Photoshop. So let me introduce to you which is right here and it is called Photopea. Yay! So without further ado, let's begin. And before, uh, uh, excuse me, before beginning, uh, uh, I should say that uh, this is one of the best alternatives of Photoshop I have ever seen on the internet. So this is a big deal, right? So as you can see, guys, the Photopea's aka best alternative of photoshop is the the user interface is quite the same some icons are different but uh, pretty much it's kind of the same and as you can see the blending modes opacity and the layer stuff all beautiful it's it's awesome now let's get to it i'm gonna just uh, show you guys or give you an idea about how it works i'm gonna just simply write my task and change the background color to, to tell you guys that it really works right or uh, otherwise it's up to you what you're gonna make you can make your banners uh, thumbnails uh, Facebook banners whatever right so let's just get to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click on the new layer option and yeah by clicking it as you're gonna see just like Photoshop similarly like Photoshop this thing will appear and the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select the text as you can see, I just clicked it. Maybe I'm gonna write my channel's name, right? And it's the small, the, the size is small. What you're gonna do is go to this size option and make it as much as you want. So this is my beautiful name. And if I just, uh, and for example, if one, if, and for example, if I want to drop shadow, I'm just going to double click the layer and click on drop shadow and as you can see it's pretty much the same thing and after clicking on the drop shadow i think mm, the distance which should be zero the opacity the spread percentage would be 20 and the size would be 22 uh, 22 exactly right and i think the distance should be five whatever whatever this is this is a uh, tutorial right <laughs> this is a tutorial and the next thing i would want to do is i'm gonna mm, make the background uh, black i don't know or let me just make the text color white here is color color overlay by clicking color overlay and go to white okay it's perfect okay and the background color should be black by clicking the by double clicking the background colors layer and color overlay yeah there it is as you can see the difference is quite visible and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just uh, select black color and there it is guys there is nothing i mean it's it's really simple it's really awesome thing i found on the internet and it's similar to photoshop i hope uh, you have enjoyed the video and besides that you have found uh, the best alternative uh, software or website for adobe photoshop which is pretty awesome so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe see ya in the next video